So now I am going to take question number 16. In the given circuit diagram, when the current reaches the state in the circuit, the charge on the capacitor of capacitance C will be. So we need the charge. Because question says current reaches steady state. So capacitor does not play any role. So the new equivalent circuit will becomes look like E internal resistance R and there is resistance R2 will be there R2. Right? So if I want to calculate or if I go for the electric current in this situation, so we can write electric current I is equal to net EMF of the circuit and total mm -hmm. resistance R plus R2. Right? So now I am going to solve the potential difference V and that is equal potential difference across the capacitor and that is V is equal to I R 2 but we have the value of I so that will give you E upon R plus R 2 multiplied with R 2 but we need the charge and charge is given by C times of V so that is because as I said the value of V is this so C E R 2 upon R plus R 2. So what will be the conclusion? My option is 3. Right? Now we are going to take question number 17. Look it. In the above circuit, current in each resistance is so now I am going to take Kirchhoff's rule. If I concentrate only one loop, if I consider this is my loop number 1, this is my loop number 2 and this is my loop number 3. So if I concentrate only loop number 1, so look here, here I am going from negative terminal to the positive terminal. So potential will be positive but when I go from this cell from positive to negative then potential difference will be negative so what will be the value of net emf in this loop zero this is for one similarly if i go for the second loop so you could see here plus two is there minus two is there so once again for the loop number two you will get net emf is zero this is for loop number 2 and similarly you are seeing that for the third loop net EMF is 0. So we can say that the current in each resistance is 0. That's why my option number 4 will be correct. So now we are going to take question number 18. A magnetic needle of magnetic moment of this 6.7 into 10 to power minus 2 ampere meter square and moment of inertia is 7.5 into 10 to power minus 6 kg meter square is performing simple harmonic oscillation. This is very important line simple harmonic oscillation in magnetic field. 0 0.01 Tesla the time taken for 10 complete oscillation is. So here you could see we have a formula if I denoted by T dash you know the time period in simple harmonic motion on in this way we can write 2 pi the root of moment of inertia magnetic dipole moment and magnetic field right so when you put the given data like moment of inertia is 7.7.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg meter square and magnetic moment is 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 2 ampere meter and there is another need of magnetic field that is 0 0.01 tesla when you put the all given data you will get 
the value of t dash right but look here question says we need time taken for 10 complete oscillation so what we will do so my right answer is the next time taken for 10 complete oscillation is given by 10 into t dash as i said you will get the value of t dash by using the above formula and on solving you will get 6.6 .6 second my option number first will be correct question number 19 when a current of 5 milliampere is passed through a galvanometer having a coil of resistance 15 ohm right it shows full scale deflection you keep in mind full scale deflection the value of resistance to be put in series with the galvanometer because resistance to be put in series so this is the question basically based on conversion of galvanometer into voltmeter so of range is given 0 up to 10 volt right so we know voltage range is given by current in galvanometer means ig into total resistance ig if i denote resistance of galvanometer by g and external resistance is r but according to the problem the range of the voltmeter is 10 so we can write here 10 current in galvanometer that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and value of g is 15 plus r so this is your final equation on solving you will get the resistance is 1.985 into 10 to the power 3 ohm that's why your option number 1 will be correct so now we are going to take question number 20 it in a coil of resistance 100 ohm a current is induced by changing the magnetic flux through it as shown in the figure the magnitude of change in the flux through the coil this is very easy question by using a relation the induced charge is given by change in flux by resistance so if i go for the change in flux you can write q into r in this stage you need the value of charge so in this stage what you can do it if I go for the calculation of charge, we have a graph. So if I solve area under current time graph, so we will get the value of charge. The area under given graph is 1 by 2 into base. Base is 0.5 into height that is 10, right? So the value of charge will be 2.5 coulomb, right? So if I put the value of charge that is 2.5 question says resistance is 100 ohm. So when I put the value of resistance is 100 then that will give you the change in flux is 250 Bever. So my option is third. 